Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a two weeks one palette update or switching palette. I haven't really decided what I'm going to call it, but I have used this for like two weeks, uh, mostly in the weekends, and this is the Morphe 35K palette. I was struggling to find the right words. Well, I have used this for a few weeks. I used it uh, for a wedding and one or two days prior that to prep for the look I was going to pan and I'm going to insert some pictures here they're very very similar very smoky brown tones you can't really expect otherwise with this palette Monday I have uploaded the wedding guest look thing that I did and I of course used this palette so I will have that linked up here in the cards or uh, down below so you can go check it out and see how the look came uh, together I'm I'm not showing what shades I used in um, that video but you can maybe tell which shades I used I have not used every single shade and I have tr thought about making it a goal from now on to use every shade in the palette but I mainly only use this in the weekends and that is like four days and I can't use like if it was this palette 35 shades in four days that is insane <laughs> but yeah I used the white one the beige color one I used these two as my transition as well, crease colors. Yeah, I might even have used this one and this one. Yeah, I've used that one in a look, but I used the red brownie one. And then I used the gold all over my lid. So I guess that is the shades that I used. I didn't play around with the very dark colors, but that's really not a part of my eyeshadow routine. And I don't gravitate towards grays. In general I can use a black here and there but it's a very specific look for me at least if I want to use a gray or a silver even so or even a taupe <laughs> so this is a beautiful palette it is just like the other Morphe palette that I have uh, the mattes at least the shimmers are really really nice in this so I have enjoyed using it so we're going to pick our new palette and I'm going to find my wheel and then we will decide so I have over the last few weeks I have uh, received a few new palettes so I have of course added those in I have not removed the two that I have had uh, in the project because I don't mind if I get it again so let's spin Yeah, W7. Uh, W7 lives a beach palette. Yeah, that's an okay palette. It's not the worst, but it's not the best either. <laughs> Here it is. This is lives a beach palette by W7, and it is the metallic beach shimmer. So you can maybe tell what color scheme this is. I have done a palette bingo on it so if you want to see that I can link it but this is the palette a row of neutral brown gold shades and then beach themes like the sun and the ocean some of the formulas are really chunky some are just meh and some are really nice uh, yeah oh first <laughs> So these three shades are very chunky in the formula, so those work best with your finger. These two, this, this and this, I guess this one as well, they are shimmers. And then these two are mattes, the white one, no it's not, that is, the white is a shimmer too. Is the really only two yellow mattes? Hmm, maybe these shimmers are like satin so you can use them in the crease as well that's not a very big variety if there's only two mats i just realized that well i'm going to use this for a few weeks and then i will report back and hopefully i will have some looks for you guys and yeah the palette bingo will be linked so you can go check that out uh, 
plus the week before the other video in this series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this small video. It's very, very quick, nothing much to say other than that I'm really excited to have a new palette that is not very neutral because my panda palette or the shadows in general that I'm panning, they're very neutral. So I really want something else in the weekend that is not neutral. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a like, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on the next episode <laughs> in a few weeks and I have a lot on my channel of uh, empties and project pants and get rid of it me so I have been very good at doing my makeup on camera hopefully I will get better because there will be a palette bingo up fairly soon with Paula from a beauty girl maybe do it if you watch her channel and I'll shop my stash I think you would know which palette we are going to do a palette bingo on. I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, please take care. Bye!